It's only right that I keep it real Yeah, they call me Kato, Mr. Shiesty, do this shit for real In the trenches fighting demons, I keep popping pills I told my daughter that I love her, touch her, you get killed Remember, I just wanted to bang, they threw me in the field You know this fofo -fo ain't a thing, don't slide up and get drilled And I love shit at the same, she don't tell you how she feel Remember when she started creeping out, of shit broke you up for real Late nights, I was creeping out on Percocets in my fields Thinking how I ain't dead, yeah, this shit still gave me the chills And I gotta watch what I say to Everybody, we want to welcome you to the first episode of Tuck Talks. We're here today. We're going to uh, look at some, some, fo some footage of what took place when this originated in Las Vegas. And then we bring it right back to the present. And today's topic is... Securing our sons. Securing our sons. <clears throat> securing our sons. Securing our sons. What are we talking about, securing our sons? Um, we live in a society today, um, well, I, I, I'll backtrack. Uh, when I was um, rearing my children, I didn't allow them to play with guns. We didn't buy water guns. Uh, they couldn't play with toy guns, no guns whatsoever. Uh, but we live in a different society, and just want to show you a clip of what we talked about then, and then we come back into how we're going to discuss this now. Like, okay, when did you have a problem you know, with your kids murdering? I didn't. Now stop talking. We on tape. I didn't. I never did that. I will never do that. That's number one. Yeah. They coming to get him. Thank you, Dave. No, I, let, me, let me make that clear. I've never sent nobody to kill nobody. We never did that. That's number one. That's what I'm saying. People would rather go to jail than die. This is the show I got two sons. I got to send you. I, I agree with that. That's where I got. I got to send you to no. Mars. All right. So who wants to talk about that? Um, securing your son. Where are we with that? Uh, I think you do. Can I start off with saying I think you do a water. Can I get a? Can I get a hand clap? Can I get up for the king? Uh, you guys know, an excellent job protecting his son. Wonderful. I never seen nobody protect his boys like the way he protects. Beautiful. Us. Beautiful. Listen though. So I feel like I feel like um. I feel like you need to straight. Yeah. I'm not saying. Oh, yeah. No, like I was saying, and I feel like, uh, I feel like kids, like always said, kids back in the day, like we wasn't raised up being able to use guns and stuff like that. But like everything else in life, you can evolve. So yeah, that a day, no, a day is a day. I mean, we we talking like that, but you gotta back that up. Let me show you. Boy, I don't want to hear that. This is for my generation. You feel right. Right. Oh, now you're just taking it back to why. It's my generation. It's but my you didn't generation. say it. You just bust out what I said. We need guns. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm so, so listen, listen, listen. This is how I feel. Like personally, I talk to him. I'm a big, I'm a big music fan. Yeah. He think little baby is God. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. so, so, you know, I'm definitely a gangster because I listen to a lot of the. Now I'm just playing, but yeah. a lot of the, the the rappers nowadays, they the influence is is killing people in drill rap. And if you ain't talking about murders and homicides and how I was shot at, then you ain't gonna be nobody. So that's all we hear all the time is killings, murders, all that stuff. And eventually you're gonna start to, to act on what you're hearing. Hmm. So then how does that still bring us to the point that we talking about securing our sons though? Because- I know, I know Liv, you had, you had a good comment on it though. Um, I on, feel like- On what you thought it was. I feel like, I feel like depending on, depending on the age, Anywhere from like I'ma say, anywhere from like 14 to like mid 20s, um, I feel like you gotta it's, it's, it's generational uh, influence and it, it, it is coming mostly from from music. You know what I mean? The pandemic hit, um, and the pandemic told us to cover our face. It went from a face mask that go from your ears to cover your nose and your mouth to a whole face mask that just cover your whole face and it only show your eyes. So. Uh, Rappers got getting any songs and they tell us to go ahead and do a drill with your whole face covered. Mm. So now you got a whole city doing drills with their face covered. Right. You know what I mean? Like some some might be court, but some might not be court because the rappers is saying they're not in court with it. So more more kids from anywhere from fourteen to mid twenties is really doing these things, committing crimes with a face cover and they getting away with it. So it's like a rush. It's like dang, I just did that. That's decent. A little dirt to me, cover my face. Right. So I'm gonna cover my face. You know what I mean? So it's just like 
at the end of the day, um, some people are now at this point looking at it like they being forced to carry guns because it's so, it's, it, because of the music and because of just what's going on in full. You know what I mean? Now for me, <clears throat> I was um, listening to, because when, whenever we go to camp, if Dale is in camp, then we listen to his music. If Dad in camp, we listen to his music. But their music really uh, is the same thing. So I had to listen to Lil Baby, Dirt, um, Dirt Baby, all of these guys repetitively, and I start understanding why they thought the way that they thought. Um, because it, it moved from my generation. You didn't snitch. You didn't tell on somebody on the cop. Uh, I know uh, Chantel said it was pretty much the same thing. You didn't tell the cops. Um, you're not supposed to tell your parents everything. But what your generation is, you can't tell shit. I mean, if you are, when I was in Las Vegas, um, when we were out there for Thanksgiving, it was a, it was a dog. They had somebody brought a dog in their room, and that dog barked all night. <clears throat> and I kept getting up and tapping the guy's door, you know, like, you know, try to see if you can shut the dog up. But I have entrenched in me now the code that y'all live by. Like, damn, I can't even call downstairs and call security because that would be ratting him out. And if he not there, then I'm going to get him all jammed up. I got pets. I would hate for somebody to call on me. So I had to wait till the morning. And when the morning came, I went to his door like this. Yo, you know, now you wake up. Uh, and he came to the door nervous, and he had two dogs. So that's what it was all about. But a couple years ago, I'd have called downstairs, you know what I mean? Hey, security, y'all got to um, come to seven such and such. So I saw that because you have a no rat clause, and then Deb is saying if somebody mess with you and you do nothing, you are nothing, you can't tell the police. They're telling us to take it, take, telling y'all to take it into your own hands. Now, as Shan said on when we were in Vegas. Okay, you can't change them, so what are we supposed to do? If the world was good, we wouldn't have to carry no gun. I wouldn't want to put a gun in his hand or his hand. But since 80% of these young people have guns, don't fight, they're going to shoot. I'd rather be the one you already know the same. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather be the one judged by 12 than carried by six. Um, so I have a whole different philosophy uh, on whether or not I'm gonna put a gun in my son's hands. Well, I, I feel like I feel like right now in the area that we're in right now, the the the, the, the kids are are too far are too far going as far as like just like carrying a gun, mm -hmm. killing somebody, shooting at somebody. Um, I wouldn't really blame it on just music. It's more so got to do with choice because the music is, is is not putting a gun to your head and telling you to do these things. It's the world, though. Yeah, but it just is. You don't really you don't like I said. You don't. It's just about choice. You don't really have much of a choice now because you know for sure you're at least ninety nine percent sure that the other person is not going to try to fight you. They're not trying to fight. They might pull a gun out. Even if they do fight you at the end of the fight, they might pull a gun out. You get what I'm saying? Some people look at it like, well, why I'm going to fight you and wait until you pull a gun out at the end of the fight when I beat you up? Mm -hmm. And when I can shoot you right now and get over with. Question. So when... All right, we say that the music, da 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 Think about Philly a year ago. I put this post on my Facebook. Was violence high when everybody had PPP, PUA, Things like that. It, it, I feel like it was high, but it wasn't as high as it, it is It wasn't now. as high. Why? Because it was poverty never. has something to do yeah, yeah. with violence. Right, right. So, but you, like, rob, they rob them again? Well, when people have money, you are a little mm -hmm. happier. Mm -hmm. And when you have, when you're. But takers are takers. Takers is takers, but they people. You, you can have, they can have a million, and you have five million. I wonder because most why. of the most of the people that was is doing the killings right now is kids. Yeah. Right. So real for real, they really not takers. I mean, you yeah. talking about back in the day it was a lot of takers. Now it's just, they just I, just, I just want my money. Like yeah. it, it not if if I got PUA money, I don't, I'm not gonna take your PUA. Back in the day, it probably was like I'm gonna take it, but. Mm -hmm.
I, I don't know. I just I, feel like I, I, I wonder. I don't know it, but I wonder if really that just enabled them to arm themselves. Now, well, that's what that's what the, when I put it on my Facebook, it said we didn't have a lot of violence then as much as we have now, but that we they got the money to buy the guns. Buy guns. They have got the money to buy the guns now. Now yeah. everybody's broke. Now everybody is back to being unhappy. Mm -hmm. Everybody's back to poverty. Mm -hmm. Right. Bell, can you wait Uncle John up over there? Uncle John? Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I homicide need rate, huh? Homicide rate during that time was near 500. That That's just happened. In 2020. Now. That was 2020. It was high, but it wasn't as high. It's over 500 now, right? Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's, it's like near near five hundred. That's high. Right? That's yeah, that's high. Yeah, that's it high. used to be less than three sixty five. Yeah, and that's when everybody was getting their check. Right. Okay. <clears throat> but see, but see, I feel like yeah, I feel like, and I always tell people this. I feel like too at the same time, um, it's a lot of people in Philly, in the city, or whatever. It's like killing each other. But it is another large amount that's really not. You know what I mean? Like people, everybody. I feel like everybody is running around with a gun. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But. <clears throat> It's either out of fear, like I said, it's out, it's out of fear, because you don't know what's going to happen. You get what I'm saying? Like, me, I feel like I would carry a gun for sure while I'm with my kids, because you just don't know what somebody is willing to do. You might be getting gas at the gas station, and somebody, somebody might try to carjack you at the gas station. What are you going to do if they got a gun and you don't work? I mean, you can still die or something can happen, but you got more chance, your chance of survival or higher when you got when you able to protect yourself, whether it's legal or illegal. Right. You get what I'm saying? So I feel like the system gotta really understand these things that's going on because if I if I if I court a case ten years ago and I'm a felon, but I changed my whole life and now I got three kids, but I know there's a lot of carjackings going on at gas station. And I go and get gas at a gas station. And I'm a felon and I can't get a gun, but I got an illegal gun in my car. Feeling like, and, and, and the reason I'm carrying it is because I feel like something could happen while I'm with my kids. Being as though I'm at the gas station and something transpired, if I don't have nothing to protect myself, I'm, I'm gonna be, I might be asked out. You get what I'm saying? Like, my kids might be in the back of the car. They might tell me to get out the car or something, and I might need to get my kids. Mm -hmm. But what's going to happen if they tell me I can't get my kids and they got a gun to my head or telling me they're going to shoot my kids or something? Well, that's why everything changes. Well, right. Philly is about to change with the gun. Carry mm -hmm. your gun. What's wrong? I mean, they, I think they're understanding it too. Like, yeah, you gotta yeah. change. Mm -hmm. you know yeah. But are they saying the gun has to be registered? What about no? The, mm, no, you can just carry it. Mm -hmm. right? You can just carry. You can carry. Wow. Yeah. No, I mean, but that's about, bad too, though. That's I'm, still it's, bad. It's, 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 it's just now you're putting double the There's no right. choice. Right. There's no choice. It's somewhere. It's uh, Philly. Philly. It. But. Uh, it's still, but yeah, when you purchase it, it's registered though. But they said you don't got to be registered now, he's saying. No, nah, that's registered when you purchase it. Okay. Okay. You don't have to register it to your license. You don't have to have a license. Yeah, you don't have to have a license. Uh, gotcha. So that's good. But now for, that's for, those, really going for, for those that are viewing, um, some of them are still saying, because I know if I didn't personally understand this, I would say the same thing that that's ridiculous that you would put a gun in your son's hand, whether legal or illegal. Um, but um, well, as we're explaining, okay. I, I, I like to see like how many people are gonna come to the same decision when their son is coming home from a basketball game and one of the guys that like Liv is talking about that just does it just cause. Well, your generation probably will say that, but I say, I'm mean, what, 34? I don't think, I would give it to my son. I think you I, would give it to your son. Yeah. Right. But I'm saying, even in my generation, it just has to touch you. Or maybe it's the neighbor that it happens mm -hmm. to before y'all say, Dave done lost his mind, John done lost his mind, but then you'll understand, you know what? I'm going to get him a knife, gun, something, uh, but so they come home to me. You understand? So what about right? the, uh, the uh, what couple was that? His son just shot up the school and they locked the parents up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. They told him next time they got need or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Now, I mean, that's, you know, that's, that's child rearing. You know, I'm, I'm hoping that these two don't go shoot up something, but I'm going to give them the game so that they know what you're supposed to do, how you're supposed to move with it, what you're supposed to, when you're supposed to do, whatever it is you do with it, but come home. If you can't make it home, get to the police station where I could come get you. 
But I don't want to call Frankie Frank. I don't want to call a funeral. And, and that's what I'm saying, Uncle John. For me, I feel like, like what you said, if, 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 say if they had my son this shoot up to school, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm going to take the chance. Right, mm -hmm. right. I'm taking the chance. Same. No, he just shot up the school. <laughs> but, but, but the parents said, we said, take the chance. The parents texted them and said, parents gave him the gun, but texted them before. That's why they get in trouble. No, he didn't get in trouble for buying the gun. They they texted him and said, do not do it. That's just the start. Yeah. The next person gonna get in trouble. For, for, for being a parent, mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah, and I'm, I'd rather parents. get in trouble than bury my kid. I understand, right. but yeah. nobody was burying him. Yeah. It's like that, 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 uh, that, uh, like I understand the fact of not telling. Mm -hmm. you know, I understand that, but it's also a situation where it's though you paid good money for that hotel room. Well, you know maybe, I mean? yeah, when yeah. that dog was barking. Well, 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 see, this is what I'm saying. Me and you come from the same generation. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until I learned from their music how to think in this generation that I changed. I just said it two, three, two years ago. I would have called. I wouldn't have hesitated. I but but can, I, can I say something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Hold up. I, I want to uh, just uh, pause for one second. Uh, I want to let you guys know. Um, that in order to, to view this, of course, you gotta, if you're already doing it, hopefully you already know, but you have to download the BB Films app. Um, it's in your local app store, is that correct? Um, so that's where you're gonna find all our content, that's where you're gonna see all of our episodes. And also, just take uh, a second to thank our sponsors. Uh, without them, uh, this would be really hard to do. I'm gonna stop right here. We're gonna take a station break a for uh for grits. What's the place? We doing a commercial break. Uh Crit Grits Cafe, Las Vegas. Sponsored by and we got our special guest right here. What's your name, man? Tony. Tony is on. I wanna give a special shout out to Grits. Great company. I want y'all to check them out. We in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's a restaurant. We're gonna take a quick we're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back. So all our sponsors, we wanna thank you. Let's see this, right? Like when the dog was barking in the hotel room, <clears throat> and this is where it comes like it comes into like being mature or just being more realistic. Like being as though you feel like you can't call downstairs and see nothing to them, that still could be a negative thing because then at that point, then was you and them going back and forth. That's how they live. That's, 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 like, that's how I'm saying. Like, that's why. That's why the world is changing. In a bad way. I agree. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying I'm not saying go ahead and call downstairs, but I'm saying in order to prevent anything negative from happening, you would have to do that because you don't know what you know, who that is on the other side yeah, of the door, like, what they, they would do. Right. And, 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 just, just, and, and this is how he lived and he lived. And y'all live. I feel like listen, bro. I feel like the situation was with me. I would just have to do it all here, dude, because I feel like a rat. It yeah. technically yeah. is, right? That's yeah. what I learned. No, I'm calling the authorities and telling them that the dog's yeah. barking. But what are, what are you ratting on? What are you ratting on? It's not ratting. It's somebody that's how, 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 how I looked at it is I'm, I'm knocking on the door, so he's not answering. Mm -hmm. If he's not there, and I didn't know if he could bring him in or not, and uh, they I'm upstairs, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get this man kicked out. I just want him to, and I got a dog. I sleep my dog in the in, in hotel, so I know how that go. Um, but I just want him to calm the dog down. I don't want to get him kicked out. You know what I'm saying? So I hit him directly to say, yo, you know, I didn't call downstairs. You know what I mean? Yeah. I respect you. Okay. I, I, hey, you yeah, apologize. Yeah, like, but you, you want to go over. You can right come over. But you can come over. humble excuse. And I see. I ain't gonna call him. Yeah, I, I really, not I really ain't come over. Yeah. No. Did you just see him saying that? No, but that was that's smart. That's right. I don't know what that was. I was going to ask you what's up all night. Right. I, I, still, was mad as heck. I don't know if he got a gun in there. He could be mm -hmm. ready to shoot up the whole hotel tomorrow. I don't know that. I would come along with excuse and say, dog had me up all night. I'm, I'd do the same thing as you, so I understand. If you can keep it down a little bit. So if he popped on, then you do that before? What? Knock on somebody's door and say, excuse me, sir. It ain't, it ain't go well. But I ain't right. I'm just saying, mainly, <laughs> talking about tapping on doors, being yeah. nice. But I'm saying, right. always go. Yeah. No, you right. But I would rather do that. First thing, pop off. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, because anything can happen. Anything can happen. Oh, just saying. Does it matter? Don't he look like Tupac when he came <laughs> off from prison, though? I thought he said Diddy. 
No, Tupac. 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 Yeah, he looked like Tupac. When he had the hair, when he came. Yeah, yeah. when he had the hair. <laughs> they used to tell me that in high school. Let's mm-hmm. look like Dave Price. The, uh, at the end of the day, huh, I'm not doing it. Something happened with me. I'm speaking for myself. At the right, end right. of the day, I'm my own man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me, <laughs> me, I'm not doing it. I don't yeah, care what the case is. Can you do it? Um, Spider Man. Yeah, that's me. When 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 who, when he's the uncle and all that shit was like with with great power comes great responsibility. True. Mm-hmm. So you see what happened to his uncle, right? Oh, okay. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. And he he could stop it though. Spider Man could stop it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh yeah. When he, he, he didn't stop he didn't the, stop the one and, and he came back. That was the guy right. that killed Uncle Ben. Right. 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 Yeah. So I mean it's. It can hit you at home either way. It right. can hit you at home, like, it can hit you at home without you telling. It can hit you at home with you telling. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a whole, like, I've got people you. can open up so many things. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People Listen, can, you might not be snitching, and all of a sudden you could have saved a woman that was in there. Yep. Had a little ass dog. No, I got a dog. But you're more. looking at it. You're looking at it differently in regards to snitching. Like, like snitching, snitching. Yeah. We, we can't you. mix this up. That's what I'm saying. We can't mix this up. Snitching is if yeah. I say, "Yo, let's go small, do this." Or I'm with y'all. Right. Let's do this. And and I'm I'm so 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 this generation do not think like that. Yeah, start small. It don't matter what it is. You can't tell. All right, so and, let me and, ask and you this. Let me ask you this. If Devin ate the last slice of pizza, and I seen him, he's a rat. Listen, if I seen him eat the last slice of pizza, and all the way come in and say, yo, who ate the last slice of pizza? I'm just going to be quiet. And if he asked me to my sense, uh, face and pin me, yo, who ate the pizza? All of them. I looked the other way. I didn't even pee with it. Because if I tell, I instilled that in him as a little kid. Yeah, that's if I tell, But you was doing all of the pizza. bad stuff. So he had to lie for you. I know, I know. <laughs> right, right, right. Let's, let's get serious. serious. Right. You talking I'm about some pizza. Yeah. Let's, let's get saying, serious. Let's get little. serious. You want to get serious? Somebody yeah. come in. Somebody come in. You see somebody touching a kid. All right. I'm I'm a I don't care if it's your brother. I don't care if you say something. Hear me out. I don't care whatever it is. You see that, and then somebody come ask. Somebody come ask. Um, yo, uh, it was something that just went down. You know what I mean? This girl was traumatized. Whatever, boy from what? However it is. That's that's it. What do you do? No, I'm not. Right? I feel like that's I'm a different scenario. Okay. I'm gonna say Yeah, that's why I said though it's different scenarios on everything. Right. Like, but it's a system, pizza. Yeah, and Man, it's you ain't, that's your brother. You ain't supposed to tell. And it's you know what I mean? But honestly speaking, I don't even think you're supposed to tell in, in the other situation, but you're supposed to whoop his ass. So yeah, and you talking about the guy, right? No, I'm talking oh, about talking what about. we just talking about. A situation dog? if you've seen something happen oh, oh, yeah, that yeah. you know damn well you don't oh, yeah, agree yeah. with. That's what I said. I yeah. said I will beat him up. I yeah. won't wait to call authority. I so, call but authority. At the same so, time, I, I, so what we talking about. So y'all is, picking and choosing when to snitch. No, but it's, it's not it's, snitching it's, or something. Wait, 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 wait. So what we talking about, because I don't want to get sidetracked, is snitching is not the topic. Snitching or not snip, snitching is what takes you to the point that you have to take matters in your own hands. Now, as as Uncle John said, if I don't snitch, then I got to kick his behind, right? Mm-hmm. And the same thing, if That's somebody true. comes against any one of these young people, I can't go tell the authority. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to fight because he's not going to fight. So what do I have to do? I have to protect myself how we protect ourselves today. So the snitching really brings us to the root of the problem for me. That's really the root. Now the other stuff, the shooting and the killing is really the fruit. Right. The root that's planted is I can't tell nobody. And then the rappers tell me if if somebody do something to you and you don't do nothing, then you are nothing. All right, what if you can't get them? What if they roll? What if somebody do some heinous shit, man? Okay. Kill, rape somebody close to you right. and go out the country. And we you can't get out there with no gun. You, what if you can't get out there, period? What do you, 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 you do? You just take it on the chin? Do you take it on the chin? No, it's people in the hood that they looking for him. 
there's people that you want to do certain things, but you can't kiss them. You know what I mean? You're not going to accomplish every time that you want to get get back. But you act if he come back in the United States and he come in your area, then they're going to do yeah, what they have to do on that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, Nobody's going gonna try to go get them. They, like somebody that's that is that strong to them, they won't go get the person. Simple and plain. If they can't get them because you know it, it's Osama bin Laden or somebody yeah, that can't mean. get them, then what you do? You not gonna sit there and say, yeah, uh, you know, yo, I think somebody told me that boy was such and such and such. Go get that motherfucker, right. man. And if you don't, like, stop like you don't have to be. Uh, uh, the boy from Belly, because yeah, I don't like that shit. Right. Or, I'm down on them <laughs> <All right. laughs> you know what I mean in that situation. But if you if if you on some like I didn't been robbed and I knew who did it, and you, did you know what I mean on some major money, and I like not robbed me like that, but went broke in my yeah, studio right. and on some major stuff, and I knew exactly who did it. And didn't say the that. only reason, only reason I hit it. From the police mm -hmm. is because I wanted to get him. Right. Yeah. Like real talk. Right. But when it came down to a situation where all these detectives was involved, I thought about it like, you know, I ain't gonna do no OJ. Right. You know what I mean? End up doing a whole bunch of time. He didn't rob me, and I'm getting a bunch of time over this joker. But I still, because of them values and stuff put in me. Right. I did. I kept the video part away that would have gave it. Let the police know. Yeah, this is the boy. Right? Well, that was terrible. Man. I mean, so others may say it's dumb. Me, I, those are just the morals that I live by, man. Like, the world, the world right. is under severe addiction. It is severe addiction, though. No matter where you at, um, everywhere in the world, everybody is carrying it. Out. You know what I mean? Anything is bound to go on. Um, more so, I'm, I'm speaking for like in the city of Philly. It is it is it is important that every day that you wake up that you have a gun and, and, in your vehicle if you have a car. And I don't want the people to get it twisted. We're not saying get a gun so you can throw it on the ground and wave it around and let everybody know you have it. The gun is strictly for protection, right? Because they put the gun in the people's dead age hand and they using it in music videos and stuff like that. We're not saying do that. You say you had a gun to protect yourself, and that's it. Right. You never see us flashing guns or posting guns or nothing like that. That's just. Have no gun. That's just. Well, not see the, the only the only and, problem. And I like what that said. You, you don't have no guns. You know what I mean? We we talk you don't hypothetically. Have no How would you? What would you do in this world? I, I would give my if, if my son was old enough. If my son was, if my son was sixteen, I would give my son a gun. Right. Sure. Mm. Because this is where it's starting, and it might start before they sixteen. Yeah, what I'm saying? Why ain't nobody saying they would make sure their son is responsible? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like, because because we talking we talking to ourselves. You got to be we're realistic. To you got to be that's more real though. No, well he got a baby. Bro. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this. I feel like you could definitely tell you you could definitely try to teach your sons how to be responsible with a gun, but what's going on when you go outside? They are not being responsible. It's young men. Talk about that part. You I think that's what's responsible. Period. Yeah, but I'm not just saying responsible with a gun. We already know you're trying to put a gun in your son's hand to protect you. But at the same token, it's a, it's like you got some crazy. You know if your son crazy. Yeah. You oh, know well, what I mean? Yeah, you, know you, touched, you know if he You know, yeah. You know what I mean? You yeah. know if he touched. But but what I'm saying is, you got like. No, some kids. There's so many situations yeah. that a person won't know how to react. Right. Period. Yeah. When it comes to you got some people that's pussies and you didn't gave them a gun, they not a pussy no more. Right, right. You know what I mean? And that's just how they looking at it. Right. Like, you know, they they fuck around and Start thinking of some wild, wild west where they didn't want to go in school and start twirling their guns and shit. Happened. Like they literally just look at the Instagram, man. Mm -hmm. Some of these dudes get guns and be like this, and then uh, and I guarantee you that after they get caught, that's when they start thinking of all that shit. Right. Mm -hmm. well, all right. So this is something we want you guys to think about. Um, would you give your son a gun, even at a young age of 15, 16, in the society we live in? 
when they can't tell you when somebody is attacking them, because that will be right, and they can't tell the authorities that somebody's attacking them, that will be right. So they have to now either fend for themselves or they're going to be marked and other people are going to take advantage of them. So what do you do? The choice is yours. Gang. Kato. Look into my eyes, it's a thousand ways to die I ain't write the book, I can't tell you how to ride Death before the sign, now I can show you how to die Bust your trigger finger, so precision when I slide Lost a lot of homies, I felt pain and I cried You told me that you love me, that shit changed, why you lie? You can't pick and choose, pick a lane right beside Got me flipping through the pages of the memories left behind Body job, low jack, tunnel vision, Kodak You can't trust a soul through the rain, and I know that This the south side, you'll get worn like a throwback And I'm King Kato, I ain't sick